It was a lecture theater like. Um. It was a lecture theater. Excuse me. <coughs> That's better. It was a lecture theater like any other. Except it wasn't. I was the only student to turn up. The rest were nowhere to be seen. If that wasn't suspicious, I don't know what can be. I mean, what possible exclamation could there have been? Students that didn't want to come into college? <laughs> As if. Malloy, you paying attention? Mr. Dakowitz. If he wasn't a student repellent, I don't know what was. Sir, my interest is hardly likely to wander, given the turnout. Or, um, are you referring to the crickets? Don't get clever with me, Malloy. Don't get clever? In a college, sir? You know what I mean. Mr. Dakowitz was the bane of my existence. He didn't get in the way much. He just looked like the bane in the Sarah Jane adventures. What are crickets doing in here in the first place, sir? Did you leave your socks lying around or something? Why would crickets be attracted by the smell of socks? More to the point, why would anyone be attracted by your socks? One more word out of you, Malloy, and you'll be staying behind after school. It's your own time you're wasting, sir. Malloy! It's true, though, isn't it? Okay, so to cut a long story short, I got detention. But as soon as I got out of there, I was like a greyhound out of a holding pen. And to... Uh, just as skinny. They really should have fed me. Time to find out why the students didn't turn up. Now I didn't know much about my fellow students. I didn't know much about the girls. In fact, you could say that I was a sort of a loner. Except, when you're a loner, you don't have anyone around to call you a loner because you're on your own. But you get the idea. Eventually, my first lead came the next morning when a girl telephoned me and said she wanted to give me a tip-off. I got excited for a moment until she said, No, a tip-off. I zipped up my trousers and went right over. <laughs> to my absolute horror, I realised I'd taken a wrong turning into a Batman convention. We quickly exchanged insurance details and carried on our way. So, what did you say your name was? Guilty One. Irma Guilty One. I'm sorry. I know that name must close a lot of doors for you. Me? They call me Malloy. Handy, really, because that's my name. If they call me by some other name, they'd get a bit confused when I gave them my business card. Would you like a business card? Um, okay. Cookie, eh? Yes. Um, can we get back to the matter in hand? Yes, of course. Is that your boyfriend? My boyfriend, David, yes. And he's wearing a bungee harness. From that, I can deduce that he likes to go bungee jumping. That's not much of a leap. Going bungee jumping? I'd say that was a very big leap, Miss Guilty One. No, I meant it's a bit obvious. Never said it wasn't. Um, is that how he died? No, he's not dead. He's asleep. Have you tried to wake him? Tried to wake him? What do you think I've been trying to do all morning? Now, now, Miss Guilty One, what you do in your own time is your own business. Right, now we must work out what happened to your boyfriend. What did he drink last night? David's a teetotaler. Smashing up the local golf course, eh? He was probably drunk. This is a hangover. He doesn't drink. I think you'll find he does, Miss Guilty One. Otherwise, he'd shrivel up like a broom. He doesn't drink alcohol. Do you need everything spelling out? If you're referring to submitting a statement, there's no need. I have a photographic memory. 
I gave a statement to the police once. It didn't help them out much, but they knew everything about my bank balance. Let me examine the body. Hey, get off! Uh, sorry, ma'am, I don't know what came over me. Now, let's have a look at David. Hmm. 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 I can see why he fell asleep. There's bags under his eyes. You mean he's exhausted? I mean he's been shopping. Look at all these carrier bags. Were they heavy? We brought them home in the car. They can't have tied him up. What did you do when you got home? We, um, um, we made love. Do you have any witnesses? You're not a real detective, are you? I'm as real as they come. Uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. Could you do one better and change the subject? I started so I'll finish. Do you think sexual activity caused this, Miss Guilty One? Are you suggesting I f***ed him into a coma? Sex can be deadly, Miss Guilty One. Just the other week, I arrested a girl who used tennis bats as contraception. I mean, I've heard of protection rackets, but that's ridiculous. Personally, I think it's this thing on TV. A framed photograph of the dog. I failed to see the connection. Look at the TV screen, you dope. The outbreak of academic epidemic slumber syndrome has spread further across the world to the outer reaches of Europe. It is expected to have crossed the Atlantic by the end of the week. Students up and down the country are falling asleep and refusing to wake up again. Measures are being put into place to stop the epidemic spreading. DAP students are being banned from leaving the country, and those already out there are being hunted down and shot. You might think this is all a little extreme, but I'm just thrilled to be reading this story. I was only supposed to be doing some work experience for the University of... Oh, You know, it's sort of weird how that news report came on exactly when you said it would. Do you believe it, though? Is this what's happened on Dave? Not Dave, Emma. News 24. <sighs> David! Oh, I see. Um, yes, I expect so. But seeing as it's spreading across the world, I'm upping my fee. No chance! Fine, I'll just take the egg cups. Where are you going? to formulate a plan. <laughs>